Hey everyone, Alice here with a reading for you. So, a bit of a special reading because this doesn't happen often. At least I don't think. There's a lot of energies going on and I don't, like, I don't fully understand them. Um, I'm learning. I'm trying. Um, we can learn together. <laughs> um, so, what's going on this weekend? Especially this weekend, um, there is a solar eclipse. I think it's a partial solar eclipse. I don't really think that matters, though. Um, and their second new moon of April, which is the only time this is happening this year. Uh, which means it's a black moon. When you have two new moons in one month, it's a black moon and it's going to be in Taurus. Now, from what I understand, Taurus, um, when the moon shifts into Taurus, it's not, usually it's, uh, for most signs, um, it's, it's not like a good thing, like in the void, of course, or whatever, but when it's in Taurus, it's not that bad, um, actually, it can become sort of like a window of opportunity here. <clears throat> so this weekend, I'm going to tell you, um, <laughs> this weekend is a good time to try things out. Um, take some risks, you know, dive into opportunities. Um, we're going to be talking about connections here, or, you know, that sort of love romance I guess department it doesn't have to be like when I say connections I mean yeah a large part of it is that but it also just means connecting with people and when it comes to people um yeah it's it's kind of a good time to connect with people um I mean I'm not gonna lie with Taurus I mean there is a sensual nature to it so there can be romance here, especially like on Sunday. Um, but yeah, this weekend is, it's a little bit of anything can happen and it's almost like seize the, the moment type of thing. Um, if you're like in a connection and you know, if you've been wanting to say something, um, now would probably be a pretty good time to, you know, window of opportunity here. Um, but it's, you know, it's not just, I mean, if you're feeling creative too, um, that is also sort of amplified, uh, this weekend. Um, what else? Uh, I would say, or not what I would say, but like what I know, um, the sort of best opportunity if you want to, um, sort of start anything, if you're in the Eastern, Eastern time zone, like I am, uh, would be Sunday night, you know, after eight, uh, to like early morning, Monday, like three in the morning, Monday, you know, that's a good time. Um, if you, you know, are feeling inspired or creative or, you know, romantic Saturday night, this Saturday night, uh, yeah, you know, maybe it'd be a good time to like kind of get busy with somebody because <laughs> it might be like really amazing. Just saying, um, Although Sunday, Sunday is kind of, you know, a very nice, um, uh, it, it's like the same energy, but just not as like electric, I guess you can say. Um, I know that there's a Pluto and retrograde that's coming up, I think like May 10th or something. So, I mean, I, f I feel like you have until then to really kind of get things going, whether it's romantically or creatively. Um, after that, uh, it might get a little bit difficult because, you know, those pesky Pluto's in retrograde, they last for fucking five months. So get your shit together before then, you know, make sure you got your shit, especially if it has anything to do with like computers and all that, you know, make sure you got your shit backed up, you know, you got it backed up to the cloud, you know, or whatever, because, um, yeah, that shit, uh, this shit sucks, you know, when you're, when you're, your, your tech, no, your tech, your tech isn't working. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of what's going on. Um, so I'm going to pull on the solar eclipse, uh, new moon energy here and see what's going on in your connections. Um, uh, I was going to say, like, yeah, technically this reading's timeless, but it's not really. I mean, the moon readings are very sort of specific for that time frame. Um, 
yeah, I mean, you can always look later and there may be a message in here for you, but I mean, all the, all the energy stuff might not apply. I mean, it lasts for some time, but, um, you know, that stuff maybe, but you know, there could still be a message here for you. It's just, you know, not in the sort of same context, I guess. Um, just uh, also keep in mind, this is a general reading. So not everything is going to apply to your situation. Just, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and don't try to force it. Um, we're going to go through all the signs here. So, um, like all the other sort of moon readings here, um, even though I'm going through each sign and you can check your, you know, your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs here. I mean, really, it's kind of like one huge big reading here because it's all together um, because we're all being affected by this energy it's not like you know it's different than the when I do like identifiers with the signs because I'm like trying to hone in on certain groups of energies I'm like this is just the the whole sort of solar eclipse new moon energy here and just how it's kind of like affecting everybody but it kind of it, it is all it is affecting all of us so um yeah, so I mean, you could watch everything and just kind of like take note of the things that are resonating with you regardless of your sign because, you know, just like in high school musical, we're all in this together. So yeah, all right. So let's see what's going on for this solar eclipse, uh, black moon in Taurus. You know when it comes to connections and everything so first we're just going to be going pulling on your energy what's your incoming energy you know everybody's incoming energy here and see uh what that's about and then we'll pull on your person and then how that's affecting the connection so all right So everybody's overall incoming energy here, we have the Page of Coins, and we have the King of Wands in reverse. Interesting. Um, so two people. Uh, somebody, hmm, okay. I see what's going on here. So somebody's been feeling kind of uh, being a little aggressive here. I feel these are two energies. You have one, the King of Wands here. This is energy that's affecting you. You're the Page of Coins. Um, somebody is being quite aggressive here. Um, maybe they're being really full of themselves, um, being quite arrogant, um, egotistical, and that's kind of making you feel this Page of Coins. It's kind of making you feel like intimidated, kind of shy, kind of um, timid even, um, making you feel like you have to almost second guess everything that you're doing. Um, it's not like, it can be a bit of a confidence issue, but it's not really. Um, it's more like you don't want to upset this person. So you're really like thinking about what you're saying and what you're doing. So like you're, you're being a little bit like careful about it, but it's not, it's not really to a detriment. You're just, you know, you're trying to like take baby steps. I guess that would be the best way of saying it. Um, because there's this energy around you that it's like, you don't want to like poke the bear kind of thing. He's even a bear here, right? You don't want to poke the bear. And it's just kind of like, okay, so I got to like be more calculative. I got to kind of plan things out a little bit more. Um, because I don't want to like upset someone here because they're just going to fly off the handlebar because they're being quite aggressive or they're having, you know, they're being a hothead or something like that. Um, that's kind of the overall energy for everybody for this, um, solar energy, which is to me, I feel it's kind of disappointing because it's like, you should feel free to do what you want. Um, here, but there is a little bit of like intimidation, an intimidation factor going on here. I mean, this doesn't have to be your person. Okay. This is somebody, there's just somebody around you. I mean, if your person is like, let's say your person just broke up with somebody, which is quite possible. 
this energy would be the person that they broke up with. You know, this is, you know, the ex and the ex is still pissed off. The ex is still angry. And it's like, okay, so you're, you know, you're being sort of like, okay, I need to, I might, you know, I don't want to like rush into things. I'm not going to be impulsive. I kind of need to try to sort of make a bit of a plan, try to strategize a little here, you know, take things baby steps at a time because I don't want this fucking crazy psycho ex coming after me. That's, you know, it, it, I mean, that's one possibility. That's one sort of story there. So I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying, okay. All right. Now let's go through everybody. So we're going to start with Aries and I can already see what it is because I know when I cut these cards, I fucked up. Yeah, it's the devil. <laughs> the devil looks kind of different and I can see it when it's face down, but you know, devil in reverse. That's not, I didn't know it was in reverse. Um, yeah. So the devil in reverse um, Aries, your energy here is something that has been holding you back, you know, something that, um, some sort of hang up possibly that you had or some sort of fear, even the, you know, those voices in your head that say like, you can't do this. You're not good enough. All that, you know, you've gotten rid of that shit. You know, you're just like, you, you know, you told it to shut up. You know, you know what I just got in my head, you know, home alone, um, that scene, you know, how you can't go into the basement because, he can't do the laundry because he's scared of the furnace or whatever. Um, you're at the point where, you know, he goes down to do the laundry and the thing is like, Kevin. And then he's just like, shut up. That's you. You're just like, to all that shit, you're like, shut up. Good for you, Aries. All right. Let's see what your person, your person, you know, the person that you're thinking of, the person that's on your mind, um, the person whose energy is attached to you. That's going to apply to everybody. I'm not going to say that again. So when I say your person, that's what I mean. Let's see what their energy is like towards you in the solar eclipse and how that's affecting your connection with this person. Uh, oh, we have the Emperor. <laughs> okay. And the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. All right. Okay. Um, not bad. So, oh, okay. So what's happening here? Uh, so your person is basically growing a pair. Your person's got some balls now. They are, you know, grabbing life by the balls. Grabbing this connection by the balls. You know, they're taking the lead here. Um why because they're not satisfied with the way things are um you know they feel that there are um how would i put this um they f they feel restricted in some way like they can't get what they really want here in this connection there's something that they want from you or they just want you in general in this connection and they don't have you you know they don't they don't got you and you know they're taking lead here they're like you know what I'm going to get Aries. I need to get Aries. Uh, how is this affecting the connection? Well, it's going to put you a bit through a loop. It's going to put both of you a bit through the loop. Um, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like things are about to get a little bit chaotic here in this connection. Um, I mean, I don't really know why. Yeah, see, like Five of Wands in reverse. It's going to get a little bit chaotic here because I feel like somebody here is going to feel conflicted, whether it's you or your person, I feel to you, to be honest, because your person seems pretty sure here, you know, they're like the emperor, they're, they seem to be quite sure, you know, they're, you know, I'm taking lead here, I'm, you know, growing a pair, growing some balls here, and, you know, because uh, there's something that I want, and I don't have it, and I, I don't feel like, you know, they, they're, you know, that's it, um, but, yeah, this connection is going through, is going to go through a bit of a loop here, um, there may be other energies involved the five of wands. There can be some other energies here that kind of make things a little bit chaotic here. So that's what's going on for you, Aries. Um, yeah, don't know much else from there. All right, Taurus, your energy. We have the six of swords in reverse. Six of swords in reverse. Um, your energy here, I feel, is that you're kind of staying put. Um, you're not really going anywhere here, um, in this connection. Uh, you're, you know, you're just kind of like, 
you're not going anywhere. I, I don't know how else to say that. That's the only thing I get from this is that you're staying put. You're not going anywhere um, in this connection. <laughs> like, I don't know if maybe you were going to or you were thinking about going somewhere, or, like leaving a situation here or something. But um, yeah, no, you're just kind of staying put here. So let's see about your person. Taurus is person. Oh, okay, we have the sun. And we have the knight of swords. Yeah, your person's going to say something. Your person is, um, is going to say some sort of truth, enlighten you on something here. Um, they have something they want to say, very something very specific that they want to say to you. And yeah, they're going to shed some light here, some clarity here um, for you, Taurus. Or at least they want to. So how's that affecting the connection? You're going to feel conflicted. Um, it's going to cause a bit of conflict here in the connection. I don't think it's a big deal. Uh, it's amazing. This came out again, right? For the connection. Um, ooh, okay. So, uh, so okay. Three of Swords in reverse. Um, so the conflict here is whatever they're going to say may hurt your feelings on some level. It maybe is not exactly what you want to hear. Um, possibly. Hmm... I, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure where this Three of Swords is coming from because it's coming from after a long period of silence here. There's some, there's some sort of hurt feelings here, but like the Five of Wands, it's almost like it's not that big of a deal. I don't feel like the feelings that are being hurt here, it's not... It's not a big deal. So, like, don't be afraid. I don't feel like it's your person saying, I don't like you. Not really. I, I, I don't feel like that. That's not what I'm getting here. I'm getting here at something like your person saying, like, your feet smell. Or something stupid. Like, or, like, I don't know. Like, they say something kind of insulting, possibly. Like, truthful. I mean, the Three of Swords is about, you know, the truth hurts. And I feel like your person is telling you some sort of truth, something that you didn't really want to hear. Um, something that, you know, has been quiet for a while, something they've been thinking about for a while. But I don't think it's what you think it is. Because the Five of Wands, it's causing conflict here, but it's like more of a you don't see eye to eye type of conflict. So whatever they're saying, it's just because you guys don't, you don't agree on it and that's what hurts you. So there may be some sort of like values that you have or some sort of belief or something that you just kind of don't see eye to eye on and you're just learning about that. Um, I don't know. It can be anything. It could be like maybe even how you guys like treat money perhaps. Um, maybe you're the type of person who likes to save money, you know, save for a rainy day. You, you know, you don't like to spend on a lot of things. And you just prefer to save up a lot of money here, you know, just in case. And maybe your person isn't that way. Maybe your person, you know, is more of a, I like to spend my money now because, you know, I want to enjoy it while I can. And, you know, they don't really have much saved up because they're like, well, I can't use it when I'm old or when I'm dead or whatever. And maybe you just kind of have differing views on that. And, you know, that kind of hurts you because it's like, I don't know if it's like a deal breaker for you. Or, but maybe it is, or maybe it's just something that, you know, you didn't think that you'd have to like kind of compromise over. And this is just an example. I'm just, I'm just saying like, that's what I'm feeling here. That it's like that type of bullshit that's going on. Something like that. Okay. All right. Um, Gemini. Uh, five of swords in reverse. So your energy here. Um, I feel like there is a bit of sort of remorse here, a bit of regret here for you. I feel like you might have put your foot in your mouth at some point. Um, and uh, right now during this energy, you might feel a little bit bad about it. Oh, I'm going to like not do this here because the, all these cards are going to go flying if I start shuffling over there. All right. 
let's see your energy for your person. What's your person's energy like towards you in the solar eclipse? Like, remember, remember the overall energy here. Everybody is feeling kind of intimidated, feeling like they need to kind of take things a step at a time. And like, I'm starting, yeah, I'm feeling that here, that, that there's a bit of a wariness. It really shouldn't be though you know this is a good time to like you know kind of go for it but the energy's there so all right gemini your person all right three of pentacles in reverse uh four of swords all right <laughs> yeah um five of cups yeah, I do feel like, Gemini, you kind of put your foot in your mouth here on something, and you feel bad about it, and, you know, the connection, it's affecting the connection in that I feel like your person, and you, might be kind of focusing more on the negative parts, you know, being more glass is half empty, focusing more on the pessimistic side of you know things in this connection and you know these wilted flowers and not really realizing you know the good things that you have here um because your person's energy here is they feel like you you know you guys aren't really on the same page here they feel like you're not really working together with them um you know they they feel like they might be like working on this alone here because I don't know if you guys have been, guys have been talking because there feel, seems to be a period of silence here or at least a period of rest here, um, at least for your person. Your person just, you know, they feel like things haven't really been working out, that you guys haven't been working together. And there's a bit of trust lost in here, I'm not going to lie. Um, your person feels they may have lost a little bit of trust with you and that maybe is why they've been kind of quiet. Um, but, um, yeah, the connection right now, yeah, you guys both know, you guys both know that you're kind of focusing on the bad parts and not really looking at the good parts of this connection. Okay. Again, I, like there's this energy of just wanting to kind of, you know, tread lightly. It's almost like, you know, walking on eggshells, like. There's this, I don't want to upset the other person, so I am going to walk very lightly here. I feel that for you a lot, Gemini, because you feel like you did something wrong. And I don't know if you actually did something wrong, okay? You just feel like you did something wrong here, and now you're just kind of having to walk on eggshells here. And, okay? So, where are we at? Cancer. Cancer, your energy. We have the star in reverse. What's with all these fucking reversals? The star in reverse. Um, your energy here is that you feel like something is unreachable in this connection or that there's like been a massive delay here um, in getting what you want out of this connection, getting your wish out of this connection. Um, it's almost like you feel like um, your wish hasn't been answered, you know, like you, you made your wish on you know this is a wishing tree you made your wish on the tree here and you're feeling like you know it's hopeless you're like well why did like why did i even bother because it's not going to happen so like why did it why did i even bother that's your energy here during this let's see what your person's energy is like towards you cancer Card just like fell down and like it took its sweet ass time to fall on the ground. Uh, what is that? The world, the world in reverse, and the ten of swords, the nine of swords in reverse. Uh, Cancer, your person. Hmm. Okay, well, first of all, this connection. There's a bit of there's an energy here in this connection that it almost feels like the both of you are kind of on the verge of giving up um yeah the eight of swords you're both kind of in your heads here you're in your you're in your head here thinking like this isn't going to work how can this work this isn't going to work i you know i should give up here 
that I mean, I feel like this is more on your side because you're feeling kind of hopeless here. And I feel you are more in this energy of the connection thinking like, I don't know if, you know, if I can do this anymore, basically. Um, and, you know, you're just kind of getting in your head a little bit here um, with that type of energy. Your person, though, your person, your person doesn't want to give up. You know, your person thinks that this isn't over. Um, they don't want this connection to be over. You know, they, they feel like there's still more to this connection here. Um, but like, gonna be honest, you know, they're struggling here, you know, it, you know, you're both struggling here and they're struggling here because they feel <sighs> there, there's, there's some feeling of suffering here that your person has in this connection. Um, I mean, I feel like you guys both haven't gotten your wishes out of this connection here. Um, and that is is probably bleeding into your person here like you feel that way they possibly feel that way as well they just you know they're very um they're trying to end the pain basically um there's they've been suffering i should i should have worded it that way they've been suffering here but they're you know they don't think it's over you know they they, th they feel that there's something else here in this connection. There's more to this connection, you know, that this connection could be something here. Um, but, you know, they're trying to get over some pain here. Um, here, and they're struggling, and you're struggling as well. You're struggling with feeling like things aren't going anywhere. They're struggling with dealing with whatever pain that they have in this connection. Um, possibly struggling with trying to keep things going here um so yeah okay that's the energy there for you cancer uh leo two of swords guess what in reverse <laughs> leo um i feel like you are having a hard time deciding making a decision here like because you feel like you're in a difficult spot you know that's a difficult decision to make you feel like you're possibly between a rock and a hard place um, that it's, you know, you're having trouble, like, really making that decision. I feel like you kind of know the decision that you want to make, but it's just like, you feel like, well, if I pick this thing, then this is going to be shit. And if I pick this thing, the other thing, then it's going to be shit. Like, you just feel like no matter what you do, you're like, damned if you do, damned if you don't. I mean, that, that's your energy here right now towards the connection. And I feel like with the overall energy, that applies to you as well. It's like you're trying to be careful here. You know, you're trying to choose wisely, but, you know, you're looking ahead and you're just kind of figuring like, well, pff, doesn't matter what I do, something is going to happen. You might, you know, poke the bear no matter what you do. So let's see what your energy, your person's energy is like towards you during this solar eclipse new moon for Leo um okay we have the moon and we have the magician in reverse and we have the two of cups uh in reverse yeah I feel that you guys may be in a bit of separation here mm-hmm I feel that somebody here, I feel like this is more on your person, um, isn't feeling very certain about things here. Um, the separation here, it's almost like, I get, I get the energy here that the two of you don't know what this connection is. Like, there's no solid, like, we're together, you know, official togetherness. And there's a bit of sort of an insecurity here, you know, because... It's like, well, what are we? You know, are, are we a couple or are we just friends? Or are we friends with benefits? Are we a situationship? Like, there is an uncertainty here about what the fuck this relationship is. Um, and the energy of your person, your person doesn't know. Your person is confused. Um, they have no idea uh, what this relationship is. And it, you know, because... They feel like they can't make anything happen here. They feel like, um, 
like they lack the sort of self-confidence to really do anything. Um, I would put it to you this way. So they don't know what your connection is. If they knew what your connection was, like if they knew like you guys were officially a couple, you know, whatever you want to label it, you know, you got, you know, that you are each other's partners, um, then it, it almost feels like they would feel more comfortable doing certain things with you, um, saying certain things with you, like, um, like you don't say like, I love you to people that you're not in a relationship with, right? So maybe they, you know, they want to say, I love you or, you know, not even like, I love you, but like, um, just, uh, like terms of endearment type of things, you know, maybe, maybe they want to say these things to you, but you know, they're more coupley things, you know, and they're things that you say when you're in a couple or, you know, they want to do things, but that, but they're more coupley things. And, you know, not knowing what your relationship is, is kind of preventing them from doing those things. So like if they knew what this relationship was, then they would feel more comfortable, um, you know, doing those things, you know, acting in that way, like acting like a boyfriend, acting like a girlfriend. I feel like they want to, um, but, you know, they can't. And, you know, because they're confused. They don't know what this is. And they don't really want to, like, probably, I mean, they probably just don't want to step out of line here. And here you are, um, you have a decision to make. And you just feel like no matter what you do, it's just going to kind of be bad. I don't know what your decision is. It has something to do with this connection, but um, you're trying to take things carefully, you know, you know, you're trying to, you know, you're taking baby steps here. Okay, Leo, um, Virgo, Ace of Swords, guess what? In reverse, <laughs> you're confused. Virgo, you are f hella fucking confused about what is going on in this connection. Um, you don't know what's going on. You don't, you, you want to know the truth. Um, but you know, you, you're not sure. You're just, you're kind of thinking about things. Um, you may be overthinking things about this connection. Like, because you don't know what's going on. So you keep thinking about it. You keep trying to figure out what's happening here. And, and it's just, you know you just can't you just don't know and it's just confusing you more the more you think about it the more confused that you are here okay so how is your person what's your person's energy like towards you Virgo yeah I don't know there's something that's confusing you about this connection and I I mean I don't know what it is but let's see here your person Virgo's person What's their energy like towards you? The Devil and the Six of Swords in reverse. And then we have the Fool in reverse. Um, hmm. King of Pentacles. How do I word this? <laughs> um, okay, so this connection here. There's somebody in this connection, or it can be both of you, where, where you are in your life, it's like your life is fine, right? There's nothing majorly wrong with your lives um here and but that's actually kind of preventing things from starting in this connection kind of um because I, like it's not I'm not really like it's not like your life is perfect or anything like that um but there's just it's not bad right I mean it can be worse um but like you feel quite stable like you and your person personally feel stable uh, with you know with what they've got going on in their life right now and 
um, that is kind of causing a block here into really like taking a chance on this connection into taking like, you know, having like risking like, you know, because it, it's like seeing that, okay, if I start something in this connection, then that can disrupt, you know, that stability that I feel here, you know, you don't really want to take a risk. It's like, uh, it's like, I, I got to play it safe here with this connection here because I risk, you know, poking the bear, right? It's like, I risk like something happening here. Um, that kind of disturbs that stability here. Uh, your person here, there, there's something that's holding them back here. And I feel it's, it's probably this here, um, that, you know, wanting to play it safe, uh, wanting to not really take any risks here. When I say not take any risks, I mean, I mean, people don't take risks all the time because they're, you know, they're afraid, you know, they're afraid that they're going to be rejected. They're afraid of getting hurt. They're afraid of being sad, of being alone, all these things here. And your person, um, they feel that they, they, they don't, they're afraid to do something here in this connection, um, because they feel like they won't be able to escape sort of their inner demons or whatever, or escape their fears. So yeah, I mean, you're confused. Probably. I, I feel like part of the confusion here is because I get the sense that there's a lot of, um, sort of issues that are going on here, but like they're all beneath the surface and it's like, you can't, you can't really figure it out. And I mean, even for you as well, like you, I don't feel like you can figure it out either, even what's going on with yourself. Um, so yeah, your person, yeah, I mean, I, I feel, I almost feel like you guys are even in a similar boat. Um, to be honest, but yeah, they're, they're just afraid. They're afraid of, um, that they won't be able to, you know, yeah, escape sort of, you know, the, their hangups, whatever it is, you know, the negative thoughts that they have and all this, um, that keep them stuck, that keep them in this, you know, playing things safe. Again, it's like, you know, you're afraid of rejection. You're afraid of getting hurt. You know, you're afraid of being alone. It's all those, it's all the, that type of shit. So it's nothing that really you should be that confused about, about your person. It all seems very normal. You know, you know, that just seems like a quite a normal thing here. Um, Libra. Strength in reverse. Why are they all in reverse, dude? Uh, Libra. Okay, I'm going to say something here. Um, like I, because I got it as soon as I put down the card. I felt a lack of compassion here. Uh, I don't know if that's true. Um, uh, I just feel like there is a bit of a lack of compassion here. And I don't really know why. I mean, that's like... because The reason why I say that is because I'm drawn to, you know the little cat, you know, helping out, um, the, the little tonkatsu, whatever bit here. And, you know, I just feel like you're not helping the situation here. I feel like there's a lack of compassion, perhaps a lack of sympathy here, a lack of empathy, um, towards your person and towards the connection that I feel like you're just kind of not really helping the situation. That's all I really get from that. I mean, I don't feel like perhaps you're doing it in a negative way. Like, I don't feel like you're purposely being that way. Again, with the overall energy, I feel it's more that you're trying to take baby steps here. You're trying to walk on eggshells, but it's kind of coming off across your energy is kind of transmuting and becoming this sort of lack of empathy um, type of energy towards your person and the connection. All right, so what's your person's energy towards you like? Yeah, the Eight of Cups 
and we have justice in reverse and then we have the eight of wands um okay mm. Oh, okay. Libra. Um, hmm. I see, I, f uh, I feel in this connection that a lot of this energy is kind of making the both of you kind of go pew, like, um, kind of go run off in your separate directions a little bit here very quickly. Like, I'm getting, like, I know a lot of people are like, oh, eight of wands, communication. Yeah, it can be that, but I'm getting, like, speed from this. I'm getting movement here because... With the seven of wands in reverse i feel like somebody is just being a little overly defensive here and you know it's causing a lot of sort of distress tension in this connection here and the tension it's like it's growing it's like too much you know when you get too much tension you know, like you just want to leave you just want to like you know when you're in a room um with with like when there's a lot where there's like tension you feel the tension in the air you know it's very thick air um it feels like that, you know, if you've ever been a, in a room uh, with like, when there are like people who maybe don't really like each other or, you know, there's an elephant in the room and you just feel the tension in the air. I'm like, all you want to do is get out of that fucking room. You're like, I just don't like this energy. I just need to get out of that room. That's what your connection is. Um, that's how it's affecting your connection here because your person here, uh, eight of cups and justice in reverse. I mean, your person here is kind of thinking like, you know, maybe I should, um, you know, walk away from something, walk away from, well, it, that this, you know, that this isn't really working out for me, um, because they feel things are one-sided. Like I said, your energy is coming off as very sort of not sympathetic, um, not very compassionate here, and your person is feeling that, and your person is kind of wondering, like, should I should I leave this? I don't feel like they want to, but they're like, should I leave this? Because it feels like I'm the only person here, you know, that I'm the only one who feels anything here. And your person is kind of thinking about maybe I should move on because Libra, it doesn't feel like Libra likes me here. And like the tension is just kind of getting to them and they kind of just want to like get out of there, you know? Um, but again, Libra, I don't feel like that this is intentional. I feel like the reason why it's coming off this way is because you're trying not to, you're trying not to poke the bear here. You know, you're trying to take baby steps here. You're trying to, you know, walk on eggshells here. Um, I don't know what, I, I don't know what to say to you about that. Um, but like I said, at the beginning of this, you can, you know, the, the intro what this solar eclipse and this you know new moon bring you might benefit from you know being open being receptive to things here um you know it's a opportunity window here saturday and sunday uh scorpio oh my gosh it's upright oh my gosh it's upright it's page of wands oh my gosh and it's actually not that bad like look at him look how much fun he's having right this is your energy, Scorpio. You're having so much fun right now. Now, I don't think you're taking anything seriously in this connection. I think that you're, you know, like I'm here for a fun time, not for a long time. It's that type of energy, but um, whatever it is, you know, you're having fun. You're doing what you want to do here in this connection. And it can be a little immature. It can be a little reckless, but... I feel like it's, you know, you're having fun um, exploring this connection. That's what it feels like. You know, you're just, you know, you're just having some fun here. It's very casual for you right now. You're, you're taking things very casually here. So what's the energy from your person? Your person's energy towards you here. Scorpio's person, their energy towards Scorpio. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, seven of cups. <laughs> okay, and the five of swords in reverse. The four of wands. I saw that. I saw that pop out. Four of wands in reverse here. Um. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's something going on here. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, okay. I feel there's some, okay. Eh, this is interesting. There's more energies here than just the two of you. And that's why I'm like, this is, there couldn't be like four fucking energies in here. So what's going on here with your connection? Uh, the four of wands in reverse. I feel like somebody is kind of, they want to have a good time here in this connection. Okay. I feel like this is both of you. You both, you want to have a good time here. You want to like have some fun here in this connection, but there's something that's stopping you. Like you can't, it's like you can't totally because there's still, there's, a, there's still healing that needs to be done here from a broken heart. This broken heart is from some, somebody who didn't give, uh, you and your person. That's why I'm like, there might be four energies here. You might be both feeling the same. You might be both coming off of some sort of heartache or heart hurt feelings here that they didn't give you the time of day here. And, you know, this was a connection that you wanted, you know, that you felt good in, but you know, there were regrets. There was disappointment here and disappointment related to uh, feelings that, you know, expressing feelings here, but, you know, not being reciprocated and causing a lot of conflict here. And uh, it's just a mess. And I feel like this can be applied to both of you, to be honest, um, that you probably are both coming from a place where um, there's sort of this unresolved uh, hurt feelings here. They, these are unresolved, these hurt feelings haven't been healed completely. So it's preventing this connection from really like really taking off here, really having, you know, a good time here. Like, yes, your energy is like, yeah, I want to have a good time, you know, but it's not serious here. And, and you're just like, I just want to have fun. And I feel like you are having fun exploring this connection, but right now in the connection, it's, you know, there's a block here from it being truly, something that is you know good you know that's a good time here um because your person's energy here is they're not sure okay they're not sure about you um they're not sure about what to do here they're very confused with the seven of cups um they have they have a lot of sort of options on what they can do here and they don't really know which one is the right one that they should do um because they don't want to, they don't want to be that person. So the, the five of swords in reverse, they don't want to be uh, that person that does something that hurts somebody else. Um, they don't want to be, you know, regretful. Um, you know, they don't, they don't want to feel guilt or shame for something that they do um, within this connection here. So they are, yeah they you know they're trying to be careful here um about their choices that they make uh with you in this connection like i feel like they want to but they, there's just a there's baggage here dude i i mean i saw the ten of wands somewhere along here there's baggage here that hasn't really been worked out completely yet and i mean i feel like your person just kind of wants to Again, that energy of wanting to take baby steps here, not wanting to sort of poke the bear here. So, yeah, in this case, for you, Scorpio, I feel it's more your person is feeling this energy here. They want to take baby steps here. But I feel like you as well are trying to kind of take things one step at a time by not, you know, you're not being serious. You're not serious about what's going on here. You're being very frivolous in your energy here and you're just kind of having fun. Uh, just exploring this new connection. Just be aware that your person, you know, they are trying to do the right thing here and they don't really want to do something that they're going to f regret later. Um, they don't want to do something that they're going to feel guilty or shame for later on here. So that is kind of preventing um, 
you guys from really this connection from really being something that you know you guys can both enjoy to the fullest um where am i sagittarius eight of wands eight of wands um your energy is you want to talk about things <laughs> there's a lot of communication going on here i feel like you're communicating a lot with your person here um like just look at this little cat like he's just like it's you know what i get the communication is more of a like i really want to share something with you like i i like i'm just like i just want to tell you so many things um because i this cat from what i said he's like he's like showing the sushi menu and he's like oh my gosh like you can get fucking sammy sammy <laughs> oh my god salmon um was it uh I forgot what that type of sushi is called. You know, like you can get salmon sushi, you can get rolled sushi. It's like all the sushis, but there's a little bit of worry, you know. There's a little bit of anxiety here, so it's like, yeah, you want to talk to your person. You want to, you want to express things to your person here. Um, but there's a little bit of like, you know, sweat drops. You know, there's a little bit of anxiety here, and I mean that's this energy here, you know you're taking things one step at a time you're walking on eggshells because you don't want to poke the bear i don't feel like this is your person i feel like this is somebody else that you don't want to upset so to the point that they get aggressive so yeah as much as you want to talk about things and communicate with your person there i, I feel there's a bit of like ah, like type of energy i don't know how to explain it <laughs> all right let's see what your person's energy is like towards you uh, Sagittarius in this solar eclipse new moon energy what is their energy like towards you Six of Wands, Ten of Wands, huh? <laughs> and the Lovers, ooh, what is this connection? Um, yeah, what is this connection? Knight of Cups, the Lovers, Ace of Swords. All right, okay, your person is paying attention to you. Your person is paying close attention to this connection. Like, you've caught this person's attention. Definitely. Six of Wands. You've caught this person's attention. Um, I will say that you have helped them to kind of solve some of their problems here. The Ten of Wands here. I mean, usually Ten of Wands, oh, so much burdens. But, I mean, you've caught their attention. And, you know, the Six of Wands is also about victory and success here. And it's, you know, because they've kind of gotten through some of their problems. They've kind of gotten through some of their baggage here. Um, and yeah, they, they feel with you, um, how would I put this? I don't know. Out of all the signs right now, this has been quite positive. Uh, I think Aries and has been kind of positive as well. Um. But, yeah, I, fire signs. The fire signs aren't too bad. Um, yeah, your person's like, man, they're, they, they are recognizing you. They, they have recognized something in you because it's almost like, I don't want to say that you, because it's not like you're solving their problems. Like, I don't get that you solve their problems. I get that they see you as somebody who it's like, I say that because here, because we have the Ace of Swords down here. The Ace of Swords is about realization. It's like through you, they've realized how they can kind of get through their problems. 
that they've been having here pro like so they've had some sort of um issue that's been weighing on their shoulder and by like watching you and seeing what you've been doing and like you've been communicating you know you've been talking a lot here um with your person here you know they've been it's almost like they've been listening you know they've been atten attentively listening here and it's like the words that you've been saying here have helped them to kind of work through some of their issues like they've had some sort of realization here and i mean how this is working in your connection i mean like what is this right like what is this this is uh you have the knight of cups and the lovers you have the knight of cups crossing the lovers here the lovers is like two peas in a pod type of shit excuse me um and you know i feel like it's only it's kind of it's become this way because i feel like the both of you have been quite open about your feelings now when i say that it's like you've been expressing your feelings. The Knight of Cups is somebody who flirts a lot. Basically, you guys have been flirting with each other and it's caused this, you know, this sort of comfy lovers type of energy here. Um, because, you know, there's been some realizations on both your sides here for you I, in, in, in different things. Um, and I don't know. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's interesting. I mean, this is the energy here, but okay the overall energy still stands like i said you're talking you're communicating but there is a bit of a um, you know anxiety type of energy here because you don't want to poke this bear i don't know what this bear is i don't know who this bear is they feel like a third party and yeah all right um where am i capricorn capricorn we have the four of wands in reverse uh, who was it that this was a Scorpio? Yeah, I, it's a bit of a similar energy here. Um, I mean, I could I could have said that for so many. I just didn't really, because you know, you're this all applies to kind of everybody in one way or another. Um, Capricorn, your energy here is that you know things aren't really stable in your life right now or in this connection. Like things aren't really you know going that well um and it's kind of like this is the energy that you're bringing towards your connection as well because things are a little uh it's not as happy as it could be um it's not you know as good as it could be um it's not like broken broken but i mean it can be um like you you might even feel like the connection is needs to be fixed you know that there are things here that need to be fixed in this connection um yeah let's see let's see what the energy is like for your person capricorn your person's energy towards you uh capricorn what's your person's energy like towards capricorn What's Capricorn's person's energy towards Capricorn? Uh, we have the Fool in reverse. We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Ooh, what is this? Death. Oh. Ooh. Oh, okay okay capricorn oh man <laughs> okay um yeah your person's energy towards you um they're playing it safe here you know mm -mm. they're playing it safe here because uh I mean, the Eight of Pentacles, like, they feel like it's just not worth their time. I mean, I wish I could say something better here, but I feel like you almost already know this. With the Four of Wands in reverse, um, there's something wrong here in this connection here. You know, there's just something that's not right. There's something that's not stable here. And I feel like you kind of know this. And like your person here, 
you know, they're not ma they're not taking any risks here because they don't feel like it's worth taking the risk for. Um, you know, that kind of sucks because, I mean, I see the overall energy and the connection here, and I'm going to be honest with you. Um, there's, there's a third party here. There's another person here in this connection, or like, you know, three's a crowd here. And when three's a crowd, you know, something needs to be let go. I mean, the Queen of Wands in reverse, this is somebody who is not hiding how they feel. Um, they're being quite, I guess you can say transparent, you know, they're not being fake. They're not putting on a mask or anything. Um, they're, you know, they can be a little fiery. Um, they can be like showing some aggression here. Um, but more, almost even annoyance, um, here, but this is somebody who they're not hiding, um, behind a mask. You know, what they say is what they mean. Um, what they do especially is, you know, is what they mean to do here. And, you know, there, there is another, there is, there are three people, you see there are three cats here and something has to be let go here. Something, one of these cats is being let go. There is only, you know, there's only two in a couple and I don't know who's being let go here. Um... It may be you, Capricorn, I don't know, or, you know, it can be on your side, perhaps. Um, maybe there's something that someone need, that you are letting go of. I don't know. There's just three people here, and one of them is being dropped. Three energies, one is being dropped here. Um, but with death here and the connection, I feel it's either you or your person is being dropped here. Because I don't feel, you feel like there's no stability here in this connection. And... Yeah, it can be that maybe something has ended here in this connection or there's some sort of um, transformation here, some sort of change that's going on in this connection. I'll be honest, I don't feel like it's positive for the connection. It just feels like your person is just, you know, they don't feel like this is worth putting the time and effort to starting something here. At least not right now. They don't. I mean, like they just don't feel like it's worth waiting for. I don't know why I'm not like clarifying, but they just, they, they just feel like there's something here that, you know, it's not worth their time and that they're not going to take a risk here on this connection right now. Um, yeah, I mean, I know that sucks, but I mean, that's what it is. I don't, I don't know what else to say. Um, I'm not going to sugarcoat shit. Uh, where am I? Aquarius. We have the Four of Coins in reverse. Okay, Aquarius. Uh, Aquarius, you're holding on to something here. I don't know what it is, but you are not sharing with your person here. You're not sharing it in this connection. You're being very selfish here. Uh, yeah, I think that's the best word to describe. Uh, your energy right now in this connection is selfish. Um, it doesn't have to be like... You probably don't think that you're being selfish here um, because it's coming from a place of being afraid to let go of something, being afraid to even open up because I'm, I'm, I'm drawn to the chest here, the chest of jewels and all that. I mean, the jewels, the things that you value, there's something here, you know, that you value like personally, like your personal values or whatever. And it feels like you refuse to open that up to your person. Like you are in this, like, I don't really want to open that up to my person here. Um, it, it, there are, you know, there's another side to this that maybe you're thinking about it too. Maybe you're thinking about being a little more open as well. Um, whatever it is, it's like right now, I feel like you haven't, you know, you've been keeping this chest closed. It's possible that you might be starting to think that maybe I should open up a little bit more, but there's still that fear here. There's still that fear that, I don't know. I don't know what the fear is. Maybe you feel like, you know, they're going to laugh at you. Maybe you feel like they might reject you. Um, you know, maybe you feel that it's going to like end in a fight or something. I don't know. I, I feel this energy a lot with you, um, the page, and I feel like this bear might be your person. Um, more than some of the other signs here. 
um, that you feel like you need to sort of walk on eggshells around your person because you're a little bit afraid that what they might do, you know, what they might say um, here um, in regards to something that you feel very personal about. Like, I just get the energy here. There's something that like you, it's like you feel very personal about something and you don't share this with like a lot of people. And it's almost like you want to share this with your person, but you're afraid of how they're going to react. And it's almost like you're afraid like they might laugh at you. Like, here's an example. I don't know if this is true or not. So let's say uh, Aquarius, um, maybe one something that you really love, like your passion is uh, you like to, like something creative. Um, maybe you like to uh, write songs, okay? or write poems or something like you write poems, you write songs, something along those lines, something very creative that you do not tell other people that you do. You write short stories. I, I don't know. There's something very creative that you do that you don't want to tell other people that you don't tell other people about. And you don't share your artwork with other people because you're afraid of what they'll say. You know, you don't want them to criticize your art. Um, and I feel like you keep this to yourself. And I feel like this person, like in this connection, it's like you want to share that with this person, but you're afraid that, you know, they, they might laugh at it, that they might, you know, make fun of you or that they might, you know, reject you in some way or say that, you know, it's stupid or say like, oh, I don't want to be with you because that's so stupid, whatever it is. Um, again, it, it feels like that and you hold back from sharing that. I'm not I'm, I'm not psychic so I'm not saying this is what it is this is just the energy of what I'm feeling you know replace art with whatever it is and it's like being afraid that they're going to um, reject you on that sort of level or you know just that they're not going to get it you know and if they don't get it then you might feel like ah oh, if they don't get it then I don't think I can be with this person. Like it's a deal breaker, you know, if they don't understand my art, if they don't understand what I'm doing, if they don't support me, then I don't think I could be with this person. And it almost feels like you would rather not know that, um, than, you know, that, but I mean, I, I get it's more that you're just afraid that they're going to laugh at you about something. Like you're afraid that they're going to reject you. Um, for something for something that you value that's close to you now, for example like your art okay this is just an example um yeah I mean I get yeah okay that, I mean I'm, I'm done I'm done that's all I that's all I really got on that I, I can go on I don't want to go on any further so what's the energy with your person what is your person's energy um towards you in, during this solar eclipse um new moon here aquarius what is the aquarius person's energy towards them <laughs> it just flew right out queen of swords in reverse oh, okay this both wanted to come out fine Queen of Swords in reverse, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and six. I, I thought that Queen of Pentacles was going to come out, although I thought it was going to come out upright, not in reverse. <laughs> uh, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Pentacles in reverse, Two of Swords, all in reverse. Mm. All right. So the connection, the energy, how, how these energies are affecting the connection. So I feel like you two feel very drawn to each other um with judgment here there's judgment is about feeling very drawn um to a purpose and i feel like you feel very drawn to each other and you don't even really know why it's just you just you're just drawn to each other and the thing is it's causing uh a two of swords in reverse you know it's causing this sort of indecision like you have to make a choice here on um, what you want to do with this connection but it's a difficult choice it's a difficult choice because you don't understand um, it's a little different than uh, Leo's energy because um, Leo is more about it just feels like no matter what you choose um, it's going to be bad here it feels like you can't choose like neither one of you can really choose what to do with this connection because you don't really understand it you don't really know what's going on um, I'm drawn to the moon the the moon on this card 
the moon is a lot of like, yeah, the moonlight shows some things, but there's a lot of darkness as well. That It's not very clear. I mean, the moonlight, you can kind of see things that are visible, but it's, you know, it's still hard to see. And I feel like that's what's making this decision so difficult um, for this connection is that it's very hard to sort of see everything that's going on. Your person's energy towards you during this connection is very interesting. <laughs> um, there's something here that... Mm, how, how would I put this? Um, your person feels like they've given a lot... Okay. Okay. I'll, here, I'll put it to you this way. Uh, I'll, I'll, just say it, I'll just say it straight out. I'll say it straight out to you with these three cards here. Your person feels like they have given so much to this connection. They feel like they've given more than their share to this connection that it's kind of almost, it, it's made them kind of a little crazy, basically, because it's like they don't really even know what to do anymore. It's like, okay, they feel like they've given so much to you and this connection that they're kind of at their point where they're just like, throw their hands up in the air, like, I don't know what else to do. Um, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is somebody who's just like all over the place. You know, they can't make heads or tails of what's going on here. Um, the Queen of Swords in reverse, she can, I mean, she can be confused as well. Um, but she's somebody who, you know, she wants to know the truth. You know, she wants to cut through all the bullshit, but there's a lot of bullshit and she just doesn't know. She doesn't know what's going on. This all is like... I don't know what's going on. Can't make heads or tails of this connection. Can't make heads or tails out of you. You're like an enigma to this person. And they feel like they've given you so much um, like time, so much energy that they've put into this connection. And they just don't really know what to do. I don't see them giving up here. I just see a lot of like frustration here. Um, frustration with the connection. Frustration with you. Um, not really understanding what's going on here. Trying to remove their emotions from the connection so they can try to understand what's going on here. But they're having a very hard time finding the truth. They're having a hard time here just really, you know, they just kind of don't know. <laughs> and that's all I'm really getting from that. All right. Uh, Pisces. Pisces. We've got the two of wands in reverse so the two of wands in reverse pisces you're very indecisive basically um and i also get that you feel like it's like every time you try to make a plan in this connection plans fall through um every time you try to like do something here in this connection every time you try to you know plan some sort of move here in this connection it just doesn't work out for you um Okay, sorry. Um, yeah, uh, Pisces, like, you just feel like you can't really move forward. You know, you, you, you know, you're trying to make plans here. Or, you know, you're trying to make some sort of decision on which path you want to go with this connection here. And I feel like you know, you know which direction you want to go in this, um, with this connection here. But it's like every time you try um, to do something here, you get blocked or there's some sort of delay or something that, that, you know, forces you to kind of not be able to move forward here. So let's see what your person's energy like is like towards you in this connection for the solar eclipse and the new moon. What is Pisces person's energy towards Pisces like here? shuffling and then okay <laughs> Pisces person's energy okay okay we have the tower in reverse we have the king of pentacles and we have the page of cups in reverse 
page of pentacles again the overall energy i feel again you know that's you you feel like you have to walk on eggshells here it's like uh, there's a there's an intimidation factor here um you don't want to poke the bear so it's almost like you kind of deal with not being able to make these plans here in this connection um the energy in the connection right now with you know the solar eclipse energies here i feel like the two of you there are feelings here you know you know there are the beginnings of some feelings here or small feelings here but i feel that um an apology maybe kind of on the surface bubbling on the surface here i don't feel it's from you i feel it might it have to be from your person here um it's because honestly if there's an apology it's because your person sees that in earnest you're trying you know that i get a lot of sort of innocence from this card i i feel this cat you know it's very cute very innocent and i feel like you know you've been trying you've been trying your best in this connection and i feel that your person may realize that and want to sort of apologize for the way that they are because their energy here towards the connection here is they're heading towards a tower um more of a self tower um kind of seeing how they're reacting to the events that are going on around them in this connection you know it's kind of one of those things that like okay you know what's the common denominator here oh it's me i'm the one who keeps fucking things up you know i'm i'm the person who keeps fucking things up here um I feel like they are going to grow in maturity here, and, you know, and that's why I feel like they're kind of on the verge of apologizing, or they might even apologize to you because it just feels like this, this self tower is going to, you know, it's because they're starting to be more of a king, more of a king of pentacles. King of pentacles is very wise, very mature, you know, understanding, you know, and I feel that this your ener the energy of your person here is the energies of the solar eclipse and the new moon are allowing them to be in this king of pentacles and seeing their shit seeing what they have been doing you know how they've been reacting to things and that maybe maybe it's not you pisces maybe it's them and you know kind of realizing these things about themselves and that's why I feel like they want to say give an apology but here's the thing it's not going to be like a, I'm sorry it's not going to even come out that way <laughs> so I mean there is there is an apology coming but it's like it's not yeah you might be disappointed in it it's not like um I don't feel like you're going to say the words, I'm hear the words, I'm sorry. I don't think you're going to hear the words, I was wrong. Um, I, yeah, I don't even think you're going to hear the word apologize. <laughs> um, they may do something that is kind of like their form of an apology. Um, it's It might be kind of subtle. It might even be kind of childish, to be honest. But um, try to sort of, I guess, read between the lines would be my suggestion here because like they're seeing you that you're trying that you've been trying that you've been trying your best not to kind of um be reckless you know you've just been trying basically they they and that's where this apology is coming in yeah it's been and it's kind of hurt you you know you feel you've uh all this trying I know it's difficult Pisces it's been difficult for you and your person's kind of gonna see that you know realize this and I feel like it's been difficult for your person as well whether you realize it or not um but yeah all right so let's I'm gonna get sort of a overall sort of energy here um let me grab I need to grab a deck I didn't have a deck out because I'm stupid um because i didn't think that far i grabbed two decks i should have grabbed three decks all right i got a deck so let's see um what spirit wants to say overall about the energies here I kind of sort of get some sort of overall um 
energy here. I have like no room to shuffle. All right. So what is the final word? What does spirit want to say about all of this and about the energies and these connections and everything? Kind of like what's kind of the common denominator here with everybody? So let's see. Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Four of Pentacles in reverse, Queen of Pentacles, and Death in reverse. Jeez, there's a lot of waiting going on here. Okay, um, so the overall energy here is Death in reverse. Death in reverse is temporary. It's temporary, okay? All this shit. Because I feel there's a lot of fucking shit here. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I was expecting this to be a lot more positive, given the energies. The energies, you know, in the solar eclipse is, you know, supposed to be positive energies, you know, make you feel inspired, feel creative, and, you know, to go for things. But you only go for things if there's an opportunity. If you, you know, seize the opportunity, seize the moment. Um, but I don't really see that happening here, especially, you know, with the overall energy you, you know, you guys are, like, not wanting to, you know, disrupt another energy here, a third energy here, because this third energy here can be aggressive, and I don't blame you, you know, I don't blame you for wanting to, you know, take baby steps, walk in on eggshells. I, I see that energy is here. The energy is still here. With the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse is very cautionary. Um, they... They also, you know, take things very slow. They walk on eggshells. You know, they're, they're, they make steps, yes, but they're careful about their actions, especially. Um, they, you know, they, they try not to change anything. You know, they, you know, it's a bit of a stagnant energy here, but there's still movement here. It's just, uh, example. Um, okay, here's an example. So, you know, you want something to eat. You know, you want to go get something to eat, but like maybe you have some picky eaters in your family and they only eat burgers. Well, you're getting tired of fucking eating McDonald's all the time. You're like, I want a different, like, I want different burgers. So in order sort of to compromise, you're not changing, you know, the burger aspect. You're just kind of like, okay, let's go to like another place. Let's go to like a burger place that has like, that's not a fast food chain. But, you know, like, they have, like, 100% all beef burgers and, like, they're really good. It's still burgers, right? You're still eating burgers. You haven't changed the burgers. But, you know, you're trying to make some steps towards, like, maybe getting them to eat something else other than burgers. So, it's like, okay, well, let's... We're not going to do the exact same thing that we always do and go to McDonald's. We're going to go to another place. You know, we're going to go to... I don't know, like... What's a burger place? Five Guys? I've never been to Five Guys. But Five Guys, you're going to go there and you're going to get a burger and they're better burgers than McDonald's burgers. And you're just trying to slowly sort of, you know, see how that goes. Okay, how does that go? Okay, then we try another place with burgers and maybe they got, you know, like hybrid burgers. And then you try that. It's that, that's the type of energy here, okay, that you you are all in. You are all in that type of energy here. Um, why? because there is a sense of fear there is fear here there is fear here because you fear this bear <laughs> you fear the aggression of this bear there is a third party i don't feel like this is your person i i really don't feel i maybe for a couple signs um this can be your person but i honestly feel this is a third party um this can be a scorned ex um this can be uh, friends of your person, family of your person. Oh my God, this can be like a mother-in-law. This can be a father-in-law. Like I, I get that type of energy. This is a third person and you are trying not to poke that bear. You, you do not want, like, cause you don't want to deal with that shit right now. So, because you're afraid, you're afraid to poke that bear here. But here's the thing. You're this queen of pentacles. You're doing everything that you can do. You know, you're using all your resources to 
do what you can do in the situations that you've been given. Um, I mean, and that's all that you really can do. So spirit is telling you that this is temporary with the death in reverse. This is all temporary. Things will, you know, start to lighten up um, probably after the solar eclipse, to be honest, because um, this is all during the solar eclipse. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, you know, I was hoping for like a better reading here, but I mean, that's what spirit wants to tell you and that's what's going on. So like, what am I, 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 I can't. I can't tell you anything different. You know, I'm not going to tell you anything different. So, um, yeah, that's the reading. Um, thanks for watching. If you found this interesting or insightful or just entertaining in any way, I'd appreciate it if you could like and or subscribe. That just helps me do more with the channel. Um, I will be doing weekend readings soon-ish. A lot sooner than the weekly readings, believe me. Um... So we'll have that to look forward to, to see what's going on in the weekend. Those are a lot easier for me to do, to be honest, because they're very quick as well. Um, and uh, yeah, so good luck with this. Good luck with the solar eclipse and the new moon. Um, just, you know, if you're going to look at the solar eclipse, make sure you look at it properly. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it. Uh, where you are, but if you, you are, I feel, I think it's a partial solar eclipse, so it's not like a full solar eclipse so I don't even know if you'll really notice it to be honest um but uh yeah good luck with these energies here and take care and I hope you have a good day or good night wherever you are and I will talk to you later bye